Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we create class and object using the Kotlin programming language. So at first, how can we create class using Kotlin? It is very simple. Just use the keyword class, then the name of the class, something like Java and C sharp. So class and the name of the class and between the curly brackets, you should use or you should create the attributes and method. Let's suppose that we need to create two attributes for this class, something like var name as string with default value empty string and var okay var uh, marks with data type integer with default value zero. Then how can we use a function? To create a function, just use the keyword fun, then the name of the function, something like cho, for example. Let's suppose this function will be used to print the result of the name and the mark. So println name, then println marks. So this symbol class is called student with two attributes, which are name and mark, name is string and marks as integer, and also with just one function, which called show, and the output of this function is name and marks. How now can we create an object from the student class? Let's start with the main function. As you see here, the main function is outside the class. So, args, array, and string, now, to create an object from the class student, just use the keyword var s equal the name of the class, which is student. So var, the name of the object, equal the name of the class and the bracket. No need here to use keyword like new, as we can use it in C Sharp or Java. Just assign the class name with the bracket to the object name. So Let's assign some values to name, for example, Yazan and S that marks, for example, 90. Now S dot show. So in this case, what happened here? We have created an object from the class student, assigned two values, which is name and marks. Then we call the function show. Let's try this example. Yes, as you see here, we have got Yazan and 90, which are the output of the function show. So in this video, we have talked about how can we create a class with some attributes and function, then how can we initiate object from this class and how we get the result out on the screen. See you in the next video.